Assalamu alaikum, it's Amin with Sira Masters developing and designing your mindset for success bi'idhnillah, the Muslim's mindset for success. Now obviously if you follow my channel there seems to be a certain, alhamdulillah, passionate group of people that watch every single video I put out. out for you people, you'll know that I haven't put out a video for a while and you know obviously I got quite busy. I had been doing a weekly video for I think it was 18 months and also, a lot of the videos that I've already made, they cover the foundations of what most people need. Most people are not operating at a very uh, good level in terms of the efficiency, in terms of how they think about things, in terms of their goals, all of these things. And so the videos I've made so far, I'm confident that for 80% of people, that is what you need. And you need to really watch them, understand them, follow any recommendations, and you'll get results, inshallah. But every now and then I get a new idea, something new that I feel it can help that 80% and therefore it can it can help the whole 100% of people inshallah, no matter what level they're at. And this concept is as follows. So if you're watching this video, you're probably in the probably in the top 10% most wealthy people in the world you know you've got a laptop or a phone you've got internet connection and uh you're you're uh, watching videos you know decent quality video you need decent quality internet for that etc so alhamdulillah for that now what do we do with with this quality of life usually um we go of course we have to work hard you know we get a job or you know we've got money coming from somewhere and we, we work hard we do our duties and we, we try to pray we, we try to thank allah we fast for allah we, we give zakah we give charity where we can and uh, a lot of the time that's where things stop so we're enjoying life as much as we can uh, we're saving money with we're, we're thinking of our family of our kids and this and that and we're trying to do uh, our ibadah at least at our basic level however my encouragement to you is never to stop there because Allah says that you will be asked about a naim you'll be asked about the the bounties and the blessings of life right the the comfort that Allah gave you we said you're in the top 10% of the most comfortable wealthy people on planet earth right out of seven point whatever billion people on earth, you're in the top 10%. It's very likely. Okay, let's just be real. And therefore, out of everyone on earth, you've got a lot of na'im. And you will be asked about that on your qiyamah. So just as, alhamdulillah, we, we enjoy a lot of life. We enjoy different foods. We enjoy traveling. We enjoy uh, having free time. That's a very big blessing. We enjoy uh, being able to rest and relax. We enjoy uh, even having good enough quality food that we get energy from it. And we enjoy uh, medicine, be going to the doctors, etc. All of these blessings. So we enjoy that. And alhamdulillah, there's no sin in enjoying a certain amount of the things Allah gave us. But when it comes to being asked about these blessings on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, how do we kind of prepare for that how do we have a good answer you know sometimes uh, maybe you're doing french a level arabic spanish a level um you you prepare certain uh, questions in the oral exam and you turn up and then they ask you the question and you have to answer so if we're preparing for yom qiyamah what will we say about the blessings what did you do with them this is what i want you to focus on for this video we will be held responsible for those blessings what we did with them. So you're very comfortable. You had excess money. You had excess time. You had excess energy. What did you do with it? Right? We are not like the other 90% of people who are struggling just to live. They don't have enough time to sleep to then be able to go to work. They've got so many children because they have a lot of children to help them uh, uh, earn a living. Um, they're busy in the home. Uh, they've got to walk to get water. They've got to you know walk far, take their kids far. They've got to... They don't have basic security. They have to patrol their neighborhood. Whatever it is, they don't have the time, money, effort, energy that we have. Therefore, we get extra blessing. We get enjoyment in the life. We also get extra responsibility. So it's not enough for us to kind of try to uh, sit on our laurels. We can't say, I'm giving some sadaqah. I'm fasting. I'm praying. It's not enough. We're going to be asked about the extra. 
we're going to be asked about the extra. So what is it? That's my question for you. What is it that you're going to do? You need to at least have the intention, at the very least have a sincere intention. What will I do? Will I use this uh, knowledge I have, for example, to create a business, to create wealth and jobs, and then serve the ummah through that wealth and through creating jobs for them? Is that what I'll do with all my extra? Uh, will I educate people for free with the knowledge I have? Will I give loads of money, just purely give money to other charities for them to kind of deal with with distributing uh, whatever needs to be distributed? Will I, uh, you know, with my extra time, will I study Islam and uh, teach all the children in my local area what, I, what I've learned? Will I, you know, tutor children for free in certain topics that I'm good at? You know, I work as an engineer. I'm very good at physics and maths. I could tutor that for free. You know, sometimes it's a small scale thing, but it has a big impact. We need to prepare this answer for Yawm Al-Qiyamah. What will it be? Will I uh, create uh, media, whether it's books, uh, videos, podcasts, to uh, spread counter ideas to what is being pushed out there with by multi-billion dollar companies? Will I do that? Will I try to get Muslims away from X, Y, Z by educating about, uh, them about it? Will I try and help Muslims become financially free? Will I help Muslims with financial education so they don't get into debt and end up paying riba? Will I help Muslims with investing vehicles in a halal manner so that they can get away from the haram vehicles? All of these options are up to you. you know. And, and the point is here is to think about it. Realize that you are responsible for these extra blessings and then have a sincere intention and a plan for what you will do. And it might be that you're young. It might be that you're young, you're still in uni, you're still just starting your career, whatever it is. The point is though, you need to always have this going on in your head. Okay, I'm learning this, how will I use it? I'm learning this, it's a blessing. How will I use it? How will I use it? Until you're, you're in a comfortable position, further comfortable position, whether it is money-wise, whether it is experience, etc. And now you can give. But you can always give on a small level and build up from there, inshallah. This is the key idea for this week. Uh, let me know what you took away from it in the comments. Let me know some ideas, further ideas for what people like us who are very comfortable, alhamdulillah, what we can do. Some outside of the box thinking other than I'm going to give charity. Okay? Let me know, inshallah. And thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.